Hey, my name is Mark Oskowitz uh, from Tri Gable Leaf Farm in Colchester, Connecticut. Um, we've got some uh, mushroom logs that we're going to be inoculating. So um, these are just regular oak, oak logs that have been aging for a little bit, but not too long. So the native fungi haven't worked their way into it. Um, I gave them a, a 12 to 24 hour soak in my little garden cart over there. That turned out to be a nice little investment. Um, and then what I've got here is, is this like little gravity fed system. So as they kind of come off the cart, I can put them, put them here, roll them. And then the next one will be right here waiting for me. And then I can, um, I can roll them if I need to on, on like these little wheels here as I drill them out and then fill them. Um, it's a fast little process. So like this setup is one where we're going to use a couple different tools here and and some mushroom spawn so i got sawdust spawn from uh field and forest products um it's a company that i've really enjoyed working with and this was just sawdust it's now infected with the shiitake oyster strain and um there we go there we go that lovely little chunk there just gets put in my little bucket this i'm just going to keep out of the way um out of the sun so it doesn't get too hot put the paper clip on it and I got a nice little chunk in here. So this is gonna get broken up and just kind of like turned back into sawdust. Um, you know, I can leave it as is or I can break it up and I'm gonna use a little inoculation tool to put it into drill holes. Um, and then I've got another little a fun tool that I'm gonna show you too in a bit. Um, it's my, my secret weapon to processing lots of logs. So what I've got here is uh, really dirty glasses. <laughs> But uh, I've got an angle grinder, and that angle grinder has a special bit attached to it. Uh, it's got a high-speed bit here, and then it's got this bit, which pulls itself. It's a self-tapping um, drill bit that pulls itself into the log and then cores out this massive core. If this hits my hand, then, like, I'm, I'm in deep trouble. So this is one of those things where I really pay attention to the safety of, of using this tool. An angle grinder typically has a second handle here. I've removed it. I would advise you to keep yours in. Angle grinders typically also have a shroud on here. Um, I like to be able to see what's, what my tool is doing. And since this is just throwing out wood chips and not like shards of metal, I'm okay taking the shard off. But again, I would keep the second handle on and turn this into a two-handed operation if you're doing this for the first time. This is high speed. This is way faster than a drill gun, um, you, know, you know, getting out your cordless drill or your corded drill this has the rpms that you need so let's see how fast it is um what you're going to see me do is you're going to see me drill a, a bit of a diamond pattern i'm going to go down a whole row um drill out the whole row spacing them about you know four to six e if inches apart and then turning it a bit and then alternating and putting holes in between where i put them but just in another row so it ends up creating this nice little diamond pattern and again you're going to see how fast this is anytime this tool gets close to my hand I'm, you're going to see me remove my hand and then put it back and give it a turn <laughs> That's it, that's pretty slick. What's up? No, don't, in a little bit I'll play. <laughs> okay, stop. Okay, so the next part is, is filling, filling these. So I'm gonna be using a thumb inoculator. This has a really nice uh, flexible spring in it. <laughs> She's being a little turd. Okay, um, I don't need this anymore. But you saw how fast that was to drill out the whole log. Bing, 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 bing. Um, so with this, you're, you're, the method is doing like a little like hen pecking. Peck, 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 and then put it in. And so I'll do that. Peck, peck, peck. And that, what it does is it creates like a little core sample that fills, that fills each one of those holes. Now this is sawdust. And if I don't cap over the holes when I'm done, they're going to end up drying out. So one thing that I'm going to end up doing is I could, I could use wax. I've moved away from using wax. And if... If you join my mushroom growing workshop, if you sign up for that, you're going to hear all the pros and cons of things. You're going to see a lot more tools and a lot more of the why we do things and when we do them. Um, it's about, it's a little more than an hour and a half class. Um, 
I use these little styrofoam plugs. Now I can put them in by hand. You'll see me kind of do that for our first row. And then I'm gonna break out my secret tool. Stop. Parents. Okay. Um, okay, so like I said, I'm gonna do one row with this. And you'll see that it goes pretty fast. Now, you're matching the drill bit to the, to the size that you have. I work and uh, I, I buy Field & Forest products, so um, I know that they're matching them up. And if you see, this is simple enough where I can, I could do the whole log and then do this and then cover them up. So, now, so here's the thing. These little styrofoam plugs, they are actually made for this special tool. Uh, this is like a $400 tool. It's ridiculous. You look at the machinery in this and everything, you're like, $400? But it's because it's well made. Um, anyway, and it's a specialty tool. They don't, they don't sell a lot of these. This is Akuda's, uh, Akuda's uh, shiitake inoculator. Um, and so as I gather and I do my little tap, 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 it creates a core, but then it also plugs it at the same time with a little, um, with a little piece of styrofoam. Na sounds like the neighbor is sighting his rifle. So, we'll tap, tap, tap. We'll get in here. See, boom, and all, in, all in one motion, it filled it in and capped it. Now, with this, see how I don't have to pause? This has really allowed me to accelerate how fast I can do this system. how I can do this as like one person. Oh. Oh, let's see here. Do, 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 do. A dog is wrapped around the tripod. Great. All sorts of things. We got we got a dog. We got kids. Man oh man. There we go. You know if things would go smoother, I'd have this done. And so there we go, the whole log's done. Now, we're seven minutes in on this video. When I've got myself dialed in and I'm not talking, um, really, I can, I can get this fast. I can certainly do the whole process much less than five, five minutes per log. Um, on, so on average, that means I'm getting about 20 logs done in an hour's time. Now that means I'm doing all sorts of other little things in between, like moving the logs, pulling them out, setting them up throwing them on the stack that means that the actual process of doing this takes less than five minutes per log it's just that all the other stuff that's happening takes a little longer so yeah it's it's a good way to it's a it's a nice fast way of getting these logs done um again if you join the class you'll get all the other information as to like when in the year do we do this like what what species of wood we should be using um my daughter is trying to get on camera we don't show our children's faces on the cameras. All right, now, she, now she's off. It's like a little defiance. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you know, all right. Uh, eight years old, oh. All right, that's it. Um, in the link below, uh, I'll certainly link to the class. I'd love the support. If you want to like learn a lot more about this and how to grow um, oysters, shiitakes, and wine caps on logs, stumps, totems, and uh, in wood chip beds and straw beds. Um, I have a nice, a nice video where uh, the kids aren't interrupting at all. The dog's not getting wrapped around a tripod um, and I'm on my A game. <laughs> Take care.